Hello and welcome to another Pokemon Revolution Online Let's Play. This game currently includes the Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh regions, as well as added holiday event regions. In this Let's Play series, I am playing through the Kanto region of the game. If you like this video and like to see more just like it, please subscribe and remember to hit that bell so you don't miss a single upload. With that out of the way, let's get to it. Alright, let's go ahead and get healed up one more time, and then we'll start making our way through and up to Viridian City. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back up here and go through. Oh, and I actually forgot. Now that we have our Pokedex, when we actually interact with wild Pokemon that are just in here, it actually adds the data to the Pokedex, which is just awesome to me. So let's go ahead and grab all these, just in case there's any... Uh, down here that we want to see. Far-fetched. Great. Can't get, interact with that Lapras because it's too far away. I do you believe I saw another one up here? Ah, yes. Oh, a pincer. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so now that we got those added to our Pokedex, and you, let's, we can just see it real quick. It'll now show, hey, Far-fetched. We can see the different routes that they're on and what time of the day that they spawn, so that's awesome. All right, so it's nighttime, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting lots of hoot hoots during this. Let's go ahead and uh, get going up here. Hi, I work at the Pokemon Mart. It's part of a convenient chain selling all kinds of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know. I'll give you a sample. Here you go. All right, got a potion. Nice. All right. Orenberry tree. Perfect. I'm actually going to go ahead and put one of these on here so you can see we've got different item things here. So you can see miscellaneous, balls, medicine. So I'm going to go ahead and attach. All you do to attach your uh, your items is just pull it up to where your Pokemon's at. And now you can see it's got a uh, little symbol here for us showing that it's, it's on there. And you can see it right here. So, perfect. All right, let's talk to Ellie real quick. I'm waiting for the berries to fully bloom from these trees. I check back every few days. There are berry trees up in Verdian Forest too, but I heard that those are more organ dynamic when it pertains to various types of berries that can grow from it. In my experiences, these two trees have been homogeneous. They have consistently produced the same berries each time I check them. The pika berry, which is plant adjacent to me, grows is especially useful for poison curing effect. Those Weedle are really annoying with how often they poison my Pokemon. Alright, thanks. And another Hoot Hoot. And this one's level 5, the last one was level 4, it almost uh, took me out. I'm just going to go ahead and run from this one, because we've already encountered Hoot Hoots. Let's go up here. Oh, check this out, we got a Raichu, it looks like. Add to Pokedex, alright. Ooh, a Pichu. And Pikachu. All right, but doesn't look like any of those are on this route. So let's go ahead, and make our way north. Ooh, Snorlax. All right, let's go ahead and scratch this. Poison thing with. Oh, and of course, poisoned right off the bat. All right, I don't want this poison to kill me. So let's go ahead and uh, use this berry. If it poisons me again, oh, I'm going to be livid. And it does. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and keep going. If I die from poison on this. All right, Barry did his trick. Let's go ahead and heal the poison again. So you can see these these low level Pokemon they actually hit pretty strong already. Uh, both times here getting all the way to the red, having to use my berries. And poisoned again! Wow, RNG gods are hating me right now. All right, let's go ahead and get a potion on here. And I'm out of antidotes, uh, or things that are going to kill my... Here are my poisons, so that's that's not good. Oh, of course, just miss. Alright, 
Let's hurry up and end this before this dies. Now, in this game, um, as far as I know, it's been a long time since, obviously, I've, I've played it and been poisoned, but I'm pretty sure that you can't kill yourself from poison from walking. Oh, level 7, awesome. Oh, and I learned Ember. Oh, that would have been real helpful on the last one. Uh, so on this one, I like to move my uh, moves around. I'm, I'm going to probably use Ember the most, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that up to the top. You can see it shows it right there at the special attack. It's got the power of 40. Scratch was physical, 40. So, all right, let's go ahead. Oh, let's talk to this guy. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Cap Pallet Town quicker that way. Yep, same as every game. All right, I'm going to go to Viridian Drill real quick. B Drill. Ratata. Abra. A wise person once said, to be the best, you have to beat the best. Become a champion. Did I just... Okay. So that one didn't give me the uh, the data there. Oh, i um, pretty sure that each route is going to have like a psychic or some type of Pokemon that actually knows teleport. So once you're the champion, one of the things that's kind of nice about this game is it has uh, different Pokemon that... Um, teleport doesn't work the same way as it normally does in a game where it tells you, teleports you back to the Pokemon Center or wherever you last healed. Uh, it'll actually be used to teleport from one side of a route to the other. So it makes it really nice when you're trying to fast travel and so over some of those uh, more, you know, longer routes that are, you know, just kind of take forever. Or that might have a lot of grass that, you know, with, you know, in encounters. So let's go ahead and get in this Pokemon Center. Talk to Nurse Joy real quick. Yes, I would like to heal my Pokemon. There you go. Take care of them. All right, perfect. So you can see here di lots of different things. You can see to other people. Yeah, there's different lots of things in here. Let's go. I have the ability to check the hidden power type of any selected Pokemon. All right. Hidden power grass. Oh, you know, that's actually really good, uh, especially if I go up against any water types. I don't know when we get hidden power in this game, but uh, that could be a game changer. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and check out. Now, th this is different. The last time I played this, Officer Jenny was not over here, so I'm going to go ahead and talk to her real quick. I have bounties for you today. What would you like to help me with? Oh, really? Okay. Beat Bug Catcher Gerald, incomplete. Clear Route 1 Ratatata. All right. Catch a Sentret. Ooh. All right. Let's go uh, let's see what this does. Ratatata are everywhere. Mangy things. Please, could you go and clear them out of Route 1? Or at least curb their numbers? I will need proof. So bring me back at least three pieces of Ratatata hair. <clears throat> Would you like to take this bounty? Yeah. Excellent. Additionally, you'll find it much easier if you have a Pokemon with Covet or Thief. Here, Mankey learns Covet quite quickly. Okay. So in the original game, uh, Mankey would be found over here on the route to the left. I believe it's uh, Route 22. Ooh. This is a little bit different. Let's go over here real quick. There used to be fishing competitions once. Too bad no one is interested in fishing anymore. Oh. Uh, well, I don't have a rod, sir, but maybe I would be if, if I had one. All right. Ooh, Pidgey. We haven't seen one of those yet. Add it to the Pokedex. What's this? Oh, rare candy. All right. So right at the start, there's already a rare candy we can get. That's pretty awesome. All right. Let's get over here to Route 22. Of course, this is like the longest time of going through this right now. Jeez. All right. That guy's got to write you. Awesome. I love that the Pokemon follow you in this game. Oh, and this guy's on a bike. All right. So, Route 22. Let's see what Pokemon. All right. So, we can see there's Rathata and Hoot Hoot. Let's see, go through the grass. This is where they used to be Mankey, so. Oh, a go do them. All right. Let's go ahead and, uh, I know we haven't caught another Pokemon yet. I definitely want to try to get a Mankey over here. So we can do this uh, thing. All right, that's pretty low. Let's see, let's go ahead and catch our first Pokemon if we can here. 
you throw a Pokeball. One, two, three, oh, four, five. Oh, okay. So, in this game, yeah, it's going to take five uh, Wiggles for it to be caught. Let's go ahead and check it out. Has the early bird ability. Special attack. Oh, that's like the worst for no duo. All right, so our special attacks can be increased with this ratch nature. Um, and special defense is high. Okay. Well, at least I got into something else so I can use if I, if I need to. So, let's go ahead. Let's see if we can't find that Mankey. Oh, Spearow. Okay, so... That is one of the normal Pokemon that would be over here. Let's go ahead and hit it with an Ember again real quick. It's going to throw a Leer at me. All right. Ah, oh, yes! Landed the burn! Although I think I'm pretty much going to kill this in the next Ember, so... There we go. And... It is fainted. All right. Now, I really should be catching at least one of these, so I, I probably should have caught that, especially with it being burned, making it easy to catch. Because, um, like I said, um, there are different quests that are going to require you to have, you know, one of each of the Pokemon. Um, you know, different ones that count. You can see, again, in the Pokedex, it's going to show you how many you own and how many you've seen. So, some of them are going to require you to own a certain amount, some are going to require you to have seen a certain amount. So, let's go ahead and see if we can't catch this Ratata real quick. Oh, man, that's so low again. All right, do, do I risk trying to catch it and fail? No, I'm going to I'm gonna go with the potion. I don't want my Charmander to die. This isn't going to be like a Nuzlocke or anything, so, like, you know, if it faints, I'm not going to get rid of it. Um, but, you know, I just I don't want to lose it and then risk losing the Dodoo. All right, so you can see it already shows it adds to my team, so clearly it's, it's going to be caught. So that's kind of cool that it's going to show that right away. Uh, oh, this one has Runaway. That's that's actually not... And, of course, the attack is Modest Nature. So this is the one that generally you're going to want for, like, you know, po Pokemon like Abracadabra. Um, of course, special attacks, not very good for uh, Rattata, but um, it's just so unfortunate. The IV is su super high for attack, but its attack is going to be lowered by its nature, so kind of unfortunate. But, hey, I'm probably not going to use a Ratata anyways. Uh, I, I do want to get a Mankey. I, I've never used a Mankey in the playthrough of these, so I definitely want to uh, try to get one. Especially since I apparently need it for this quest that we're on, so. Alright, hit me with a peck. I'm just going to do some training, because, you know, generally in the games, there's going to be a rival battle coming up here, so let's, uh, I'm assuming there's going to be another one coming up here. Again, it's it's been a long time since I played through this game. In, in the other one, I, I played all the way through and finished up Hoenn. Um, but, you know, things have changed. All right, so I didn't catch this last time, so let's go ahead and hit it with an Ember. Oh, and it's in the red. Perfect. That's going to be great for catching. Let's go ahead and throw the ball. Success! You caught a Spiro. All right, cool. Now this one, now this is a real, again not the best Pokemon I'm getting here. It's got awesome IVs for special attack, special defense, and HP, but uh, those are pretty worthless on a Spiro. So not the greatest. Now I'm gonna go and heal. I know, this is taking a long time to get this Mankey, but I want to do this quest because again I, these weren't here before. So I'm pretty sure. Ratata, we can check on our way, walk in here, see if Ratata is going to learn Thief anytime soon. No, okay, yeah, I'm definitely not getting that high, and it doesn't look like there's Thief there, so. Let's go ahead and heal. Yes, please heal my Pokemon. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go over here. Let's get, see the Mart real quick. Ooh, this is different. What's this? Verdin City School. The best school for young trainers in all regions. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and buy some Pokeballs. Yeah, I'm going to want at least... I got 10k? Yeah. If I got 10k... Again, catching Pokemon in this game is crucial, so I'm going to go ahead and use half my money right now to buy Pokeballs. And then we're going to get load up with some potions... Things seem to be hitting pretty hard. Okay, there's that. 
And with the last 500, again, I don't want to deal with potions, so, or, you know, getting per poisoned. So let's go ahead and buy those. All right, great. Let's go back, get this manky, and see if we can't get this first quest done. I think that'll finish up the second episode once we do that. So, does this guy have w wings? Yes, it appears he has wings. All right. It's pretty awesome. All right, this girl's got a manky. Here's a primate right up here. Let's go ahead and talk to this. I don't think there's primates up here. Oh, Nidoran. Okay. Oh, it looks like it has changed to morning. You can see up in the right-hand corner of the screen, so we might get some other Pokemon appearing over here. So let's go ahead hit this with an ember. Again, I am going to catch this because I, I want to... I know that there's different quests that are going to require me to uh, to have a lot of Pokedex injuries, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, great. That's an orange. Oh, that scratch did nothing. And looks like we caught it. Awesome. Poison point, and again, the attack is so bad on it. Let's go ahead and take a look. One of the nice things I love right here, you can uh, click on it, and it's going to appear here. Uh, so yeah, you can see his attack is supposed to be the higher one, so, okay. Again, not the, uh, the best things here with our attacks. Physical attacking being, uh, negative. Alright, this spear is level 6. I've already caught a spear. I'm just going to go ahead and run from this one. Because, again, I, I want to get that Menke so we can go ahead and see what this quest is about. This bounty from Nurse, uh, not Nurse Joy, but Officer Jenny. And I'm really, there really has to be a manky in here. I mean, I don't know why she would tell us that there's uh, a manky in the grave this if they're not over here. Let's go ahead and get some, oh, quick attack. All right, get some experience here. So, you know, these quick attacks can stop doing so much damage. That did a lot of damage. I'm kind of worried. I'm, I'm going to run. I'm not going to risk. I, again, I don't, this isn't going to be a nuzlocke in any way, but I don't, I just don't want to have to deal with, having to go all the way back here because the other Pokemon are so, so bad right now So on my team. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to throw a berry again on this guy just in case he gets low. And again, hopefully we can get this uh, Mankey encounter soon. Like duo. No, this one has quick attacks. So again, I'm going to run from this because I don't want to deal with those quick attacks from the Doduos and the Rattatas. All right, Spiro, I can go ahead and kill this, again, for the experience. And this, this catching the Mankey is taking quite a while. I haven't even seen one. While we're doing, waiting for that to happen, I'm just going to show you that. Uh, you can see world map up here, so you can see we're in here. Again, we've got the Johto region. You can also see there's Hoenn. We've got the Sevi Islands. And we do have the Sinnoh region over here, um, so that's awesome. So there, there is the four different regions, and they're now working on the next region. Um, th there's a, a complete set of forms for this game, so it's it's pretty uh, interactive and great. And lots of people are definitely active on there, and they're they're really good about uh, showing what things are gonna be added soon. So it's it's pretty. Good. All right, I know this guy has quick attack, but again, I'm gonna go ahead and attack it because I see we're super close to level up down here. So let's see if we can't get this done. Man, these things are hitting hard. Seriously, like this, <laughs> these are hitting a lot harder than uh, they would in the traditional fire reds or the red versions here. All right, let's go ahead and throw another berry on this thing. Since we got them, might as well use them. These are when they're pretty much going to be needed. Is when we're lower level, right? So, in run mail. All right, that's a new one again. So let's go ahead and try to catch this one real quick. If this thing poisons me, I'm going to be livid. <laughs> Alright, didn't. Let's go ahead. And you can see it appeared there, so we are going to catch it. We will obviously have to wait for the, f the five wiggles if uh, we don't have full. Ooh, rivalry. I feel like it's going to be good. Let's check out. 
So I'm not super familiar with all like what each ability does, but the great thing about it is you can definitely go check. So rivalry becomes competitive and deals more damage to Pokemon of the same gender. Oh, that's nice. But deals less to Pokemon of the oh, that's not good. Deals less to Pokemon of the opposite gender. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> All right, but this is going to be a high attacking Pokemon, and our attack IV is three. All right, so let's go ahead and use a potion. I just want to get this Mankey over with. Man, I hope the quest isn't nearly as hard as catching a Mankey over here. All right, this guy's level three, so this definitely should go more fast. And one cat hit KO. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to move to a different set of grass here. I feel like... Manky thing's just not working right here. Oddish, alright. Oh, I love the noise of when you're jumping. It's great. Whoop! I don't want to deal with quick attack. It's just doing way too much damage, especially with it being stabbed for those normal types. Alright, Manky, so. If there's a Manky down here, I'm hoping that means. Well, there's also a Fear down here, so. Maybe that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I just, I, I love so much the fact that these come up here, and it, it even is going to show me, look, if you look at this, it shows that these two Pokemon are different items. So when you try to catch an F, you're looking for a certain item. Assuming these would be like sharp beaks or something that's going to improve uh, the damage that bird types you know, do to us or flying types. Let's go ahead and scratch this, get it over with. Fainted, great. The nice thing is, I feel like I'm getting more experience from these guys. Like, a 60 from a Spearow seems like quite a bit for it being a Spearow. So I'm pretty excited about that. But again, where are these Mankeys? I hope it's just not that they don't appear during the morning, because it is morning right now. And these seem to have different things. You know what? We interacted with one. Let's Let's take a look real quick. Let's find Mankey. This is Route 22. Okay, it says all times of the day, so there's definitely Mankeys over here. Oh, okay, it looks like Covet is the first one. That's, that's pretty good. Alright, again, not gonna deal with the quick attack stabs. Oh, and I couldn't run. I've got a lower speed than a level 3 Rotata. Apparently I do. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to fight this one. Man, I, I feel like we should have grabbed a different quest at this point. Jeez, this is... Can't find a maybe to save our lives right now. I definitely don't want to do this the entire episode. I want to get things moving along, but I definitely want to see what this bounty's about. So, while we're sitting here grinding, let's go ahead and do this. Let's, uh, obviously, you can see I chose Charmander for my starter. I, I explained in the first episode here that, um, you know, when it comes down between... What? That crit almost mattered. Wow. Thank God for that or Orenberry. Jeez. These things are just outrageous with how much damage they're doing potion. Alright, so, um, you can see I, I chose a ch uh, Charmander here. I kind of explained that, you know, between the three, like, I know everyone is going to be saying, you know, Venusaur is so much better, like Charizard, you know, you're such a Gen 1, or clearly that's why you chose Charmander. Um, I'm not going to lie, I, I love Charmander, okay? I do. Um, but, it comes down to more than just that. When it comes to Bulbasaur, the level up, he gets only physical attacking moves, and... The physical attack for Bulbasaur is so low. Like, he's a special attacker. So having that low of a physical attack, and that's the only moves you're going to learn, like, it's just not worth it to me at all. Uh, Squirtle would have been a good choice, but between this, you know, I wanted to have one with higher speed. Unfortunately, my nature is going to make it so it's not great. But let me let me see by you, from you in the comments. What starter would you pick, right? Uh, my first starter, actually, as much as I love Charmander, the first starter I ever picked while playing Pokemon Red, that was the version I had when I was a kid, I was in fourth grade when it came out, um, was actually Squirtle. 
you know, I loved, I thought it was like the coolest looking thing. Like that turtle was to die for. All right. My love for Charmander came probably a little later. Um, you know, I played red and blue over and over and again. Uh, once I got, man, these things are just killing me over here. But what, what was your first star? The first time you ever played through, whether it was the original red and blue, um, whether it was fire, red, leaf green, what was your original star? Or did you start with a different gen? You know, what gen did you start with? What was the first starter you ever picked? Um, like I said, for me, the first one I ever picked was Squirtle and, uh, I'm pretty sure, actually, uh, on that playthrough, it it didn't it didn't do very well. <laughs> uh, but I think my second playthrough is when I actually chose the Charmander, and I was like, "Wow, this is just so much better than that." You know, it makes it for a harder st. Wow, that crit mattered. Charmander down. Oh, these quick attacks—they are literally killing me. Now I don't even know who to go to over here because, again, the attacks are so. I'm gonna have to go with Rats to. Let's do it. He's got quick attack. It's gonna be stab. His his attack is is pretty high. So let's go ahead and let's let's do this. Hopefully this quick attack's gonna be higher than the other. It is perfect. Okay. So that were oh level seven. All right. Cool. So I guess I uh, will uh, move this. I'm not gonna move it out front because I want Charmander to be there. But with the dead Pokemon, let's uh, just put Retito out there. You know I might actually use this. I don't. Again, I, I'm never going to use a, a Retsita for the entire playthrough. Um, but just for right now, just because of the quick attack and how strong it's going to be, like I'm definitely not going to use the whole game. But right now, having that faster speed, like it's it's just going to be important. And my gosh, if we don't find a Mankey sometime soon, I'm going to lose it. Literally lose it. I'm convinced someone is stealing all the Mankeys. And here goes this girl walking right past me, you can see, and she's got a Mankey. Of course. Alright, hit this guy with a quick attack. It's funny with uh, the Retita having such... You know, its attack is going to be lowered, but it is doing work right now with that stab quick attack. And for those of you who might not be you know, on the up and up on what what does stab mean? So basically, um, whenever you attack with a move of the same type as your Pokemon, so uh, this is a normal type, quick attack is a normal type move, you're actually going to deal 1.5 times whatever it's doing. So instead of it doing 40 power, it's actually doing 60 power. little math for you there. So while we're doing this, I'm definitely going to have to go heal. Um, but while we're doing this, uh, let me tell you guys a little bit more about myself. I'm actually a high school math teacher. I know what you're thinking. What? This guy is a math teacher and he's over here playing Pokemon? Yeah, I love Pokemon. Like I said, I was in fourth grade when this came up. My childhood was playing Pokemon. My childhood was watching Pokemon. Everything was Pokemon, all right? Until about uh, probably, you know, like high school time, that's when I started getting into other games like Halo, which if you've checked out my YouTube channel, you'll see there's a uh, Destiny PvP playlist there, um, where, you know, pretty much just like uh, Halo. I'm going to go ahead, these Nidorans I'm never going to use. Uh, I'm not going to use this low-level Spearow, so I'm going to put these away. I'm going to keep the Doduo just in case something happens, again, because the Stab Quick Attack is going to be great to have. Um, but yeah, so definitely got myself into like Halo, played that for years, still, still played Pokemon whenever it came out. Um, and then, you know, when I got to college, my brother got me into playing World of Warcraft. So I got pretty big into the raiding scenes there. Uh, I was actually a raid leader for a, uh, a top 17 guild on my server. I was playing on uh, US Illidan, so it's a big raiding scene over there. And, uh, yeah, I was actually a raid leader for that. So we actually, uh, back when, like, Mr. Pandera were out, we were we had the uh, 17th kill on the server for uh, for Grosh. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, played through um, Warlords of Draenor, and then also played a little bit with the Legion expansion. Uh, pretty much did the first, 
raid tier, and then that's when I kind of took a step back as got more involved with my work and, and just didn't have you know, as much time. You know, I got married, so just was less and less time for uh, playing games like that. So, But, you know, tell me, you know, again, like I said, I was in fourth grade when I first played Pokemon. What, you know, when did you first get into Pokemon? You know, were you older like me, where you're a Gen 1-er and you started with Pokemon? Like, how old were you when it came out? Or did, like I said, did you start with a different one? To me... The uh, the Kanto region is is definitely one of my favorites. I actually am gonna say that I I like Johto as well. Uh, it's Kanto is definitely gonna be just over Johto, but I didn't love Hoenn. I feel like Hoenn was like, hey, let's surf all the time. And when you think that you're done surfing, let's surf some more. Okay. Now that might upset some people, but that's how I felt. I'm not gonna lie. And then Sinnoh was just kind of like a mage. Uh, like a mage. I'll be honest with you. I haven't played Black, Black 2, like, you know, those. I haven't played anything past the Gen 4s. So um, definitely on my channel, what I'm going to be doing, is going to be doing more playthroughs. Um, my next series I'm probably going to do is going to be a uh, Let's Play of Black because, again, I've, I've never played it. So um, I've already got downloaded the ROM, so I'm going to do that. But I definitely wanted to do this first because, again, I, I saw out there that there's only really like one other video on Pokemon Revolution Online, and really, it was from years ago, and clearly things have changed, because like this Officer Jenny quest is not on there. But again, if I don't see a Mankey on here anytime soon, I am going to start to get like really upset, because this... I just want to get this quest done. I just want to see like what the reward is. If she gives me like $5 that's not going to be cool. But, like, maybe she's going to give me a Pokemon. Like, you don't know. I would love, I mean, I know I just had this Charmander, but I'm kind of upset about the fact that it speeds low. Like, if I could get a Growlithe from an Officer uh, Jenny quest, that would be fantastic. So, again, I don't know what we're going to get here. But... Hoping for that Mankey. Again, says it spawns here during a land uh, morning, day, and night. So let's do this. At least, uh, you know, on the bright side, I am still getting experience. And I, I know there's going to be a rival, rival battle coming up. So I, I guess I can't be that upset. Just, you know, wish these Mankeys were out here. Where you at, Mankey? Get at me. All right, I know I've had this chat closed, too. I'm going to go ahead and open this up because, um, you know, right now I don't have anyone in our chat asking any questions. So um, right here I'm just going to kind of look through here, read through some of the questions that are coming out, and, uh, you know, see, talk about some of those things. So I see here, why does a level 8 snubble refuse to follow my orders? I'm pretty sure that's not true. Um, you know, actually, that's a, that's a good question. I'm... I haven't done any, like, trades with, like, lower levels. Finally! Mankey is here! Okay. I am not going to hit this guy with Ember because I, I know I'm going to get, like, a crit and it's going to kill it. I need to catch this Mankey. So I'm just going to hit it with a scratch once. And I don't want to hit it again because I don't want... Don't. Don't hit again. Thank you. All right. We're going to throw this Pokeball and he better not come out. And he didn't appear up here, so he... No! Charmander, don't die! Oh, man. That is not good. Okay. Now, here's the predicament. Is Mankey's going to have fighting moves, right? So, I don't want to die to this thing. Alright, I'm going to go out to Doduo because it is normal, but it's also flying. So, like, a fighting move could be it's not hopefully going to one-shot because it's not going to have that... Uh, that advantage on it. Let's go ahead and I don't want to, Peck's gonna. I don't want to kill it, so I'm just gonna go with Pokeball and see if that's gonna work. I really wish I hadn't lost that Charmander. Ah, oh, I should have hit it with another Scratch. All right, Fury Swipes again. As long as this doesn't hit five times, I should be okay. All right, three. Let's see my health. Oh, okay, did half so. Ah, oh, yes! Got it! <laughs> Alright, so, now we can go ahead and do this... 
This it doesn't even have covet. Are you serious? They said to catch this because it was going to have covet. Covet, right? Here. But of course it has five. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. Is uh, Clearly I can't do that quest because there's no covet. So that's that. So now... I know that this doesn't have a good ability. This ability is actually just, it's not anything because there's no green or white here. So Hardy clearly doesn't do anything to the stats. But looking at this, this has an attack of 31. It's got a defense of 27 uh, for its IVs. And it's got an HP of 31. I'm going to keep this Mankey. Even though it doesn't have Covet, I'm going to keep this man. I've never used a Mankey in any of my playthroughs, okay? Um, I think the closest I've ever come is would be Pokemon Yellow, like, from way back in the day. Uh, but with that, I'm pretty sure I still didn't do that. I'm pretty sure I did cut uh, Butterfree Confusion to beat Brock for that. So, still haven't finished gathering enough evidence to see what you've been beating Route 1. Would you like... No, I would like to not continue. Let's go ahead and see if we can do another one. Here, let's catch a cert. Sentry, let's do that. Yes. Let's catch this Sentret, okay? It can't be nearly as hard as catching a Mankey. <laughs> and then a Mankey that, you know, doesn't even have the right ability. So let's go ahead, throw this into the lead. Because this has low kick. I'm going to go ahead and put low kick up at the top. Because there's going to be mostly normal types up here. But I just need to make sure that I don't uh, mess up and uh, kill a, a Sentret whenever we run into it. Alright, Pidgey. Let's go ahead and low kick it. If it doesn't kill it, I will catch this. Wow, that didn't do very much damage at all. Hit it again. And let's go ahead and catch this, because I don't have one yet. That way we can add it to our Pokedex. Okay. Not a very good Pidgey. Wasn't going to use it anyways, so. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's see if we can find a center in here. Another Pidgey. Let's see if Scratch is going to do more damage. I don't think it should. Feels like it did, though. 40. Yeah, this one must just have lower defense. Let's try a low kick. Whoa! In the red. Okay. Oh, but hit level 6. Awesome. Great. All right, let's go ahead and put Charmander back on top, because I don't want to lose another Pokemon over here. Furret! <laughs> was Furret what they were telling us to catch? No, I think it was a Sentry, right? All right, let's go ahead and let's catch this anyways. If we can... Oh, it didn't get out of there. One, two, three, four, pop. Dang! Okay. You know, I'm, I'm definitely going to want an HM slave, so fur it wouldn't be bad to have for an HM slave. So let's see if we can get this caught. If this thing ends up killing my charmander, though, <laughs> and I have to walk all the way back, I'm going to be uh, not very happy. Okay, that's not doing very much damage. These ones, oh, there we go. Got it. Oh, and it has runaway ability. That's going to be great for a HM slave. Now, the thing about HM Slayers in this game, um, because, again, you are going to have to use some of the different HMs in here, but the thing is, is you're going to have a certain amount of happiness to be able to use those. Generally, the happiness needed... Oh, Sentry, that's what we wanted to catch. Okay, great. Catch this. Um, but with those different HMs, you actually have a happiness meter up here at the top. Oh, that was close. Okay, and um, you can actually check your happiness at any time. So I'm just going to do this. Check, or slash, happy. And I believe you just put one. In the, and, you know, you'll do one through six, you know, to tell you whatever Pokemon. So slash happy, you can see Charmander, happiness, 104. So for um, anything like an HM slave, if you're going to have one. One, two, three, four, five, 
got it! Yes, all right. Uh, for HM Slaves, like I said, I believe it's 155 happiness that you're going to need. So now that we got the center, let's go ahead and turn it into Officer Jenny so we can see what that's going to get us. Because, again, these quests weren't here the last time that I played through this, so I'm kind of interested to see how that's going to work out. I believe she said she needs to see it, so she's probably going to need me to put it in my party. So let's go ahead and get rid of this Dev Duo. I'm not going to use that. Let's put the Sentry in here. Check its ability. Kenai, okay. Not bad speed. Okay. It might not be a bad idea for a uh, HM Slave as well. Alright, let's go ahead and check out what it's going to be. Show me a centret. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead. Wow! You did really catch the centret. Seems Kanto is getting more and more diverse by the minute. Thank you for showing me this. You've received... Oh, wow! $7,500. Wow. That was worth it. So, uh, I'm definitely thinking we might need to do the other quests over here so that is all for this episode thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy the video please make sure to comment like and subscribe you can also follow me on twitter at kyle style games and you can always catch me live on twitch.tv slash kyle style gaming stay stylish and i will catch you later